Hey guys, I'm here to go over the Opera Browser 10.5 for Mac and what it brings to what um, browsers now have to offer. So here, um, we're going to open it up. You can see we're greeted with a nice new um, interface. So here we have our first um, point out of five that I'd like to cover. Um, it's called Speed Dial. Basically what it is, is if we open up Google Chrome here, you can see they basically took this and Google Chrome took it from essentially this, which um, which uh, they took from, you know, they actually made that up. So um, that's the first point that I wanted to get across. Um, so it's really not that um, cool when you think about it because they just took it, so that's not really that revolutionary. Um, Next, I'd like to go to something called um, Opera Turbo. So you open up Preferences here, and you can open, and you can turn on Turbo right here. So you just hit on, and what it does is you can see it down here, and you can turn it off from there, and configure, and choose what you like. So what Opera Turbo is, is on slow connections, such as like something like Starbucks, uh, public Wi-Fi, it'll speed up your connection so you're not going very slowly. So that's a cool feature that I thought they added. Also, there's a bunch of new skins that you can download. Um, it comes with the uh, two right now that we can go look at. I forget where they put the skins, but um, it's really not that cool, the skins that they come with. But the ones you can download are pretty cool. Some of them. I mean, they, you can't really change the look and feel, just the color scheme. But that's okay. Most can only do that. Also, finally, we have multi-touch for pinch to zoom and whatnot. It's very precise, too, instead of big movements like other browsers. Um, the one thing I do don't like is there's no smooth scrolling, and it makes for kind of choppy scrolling, which I do not like. And finally, we have a new tab interface, which you can see up here. Um, you can right-click, and you can make a private tab. You can also pin tabs, so you can't delete them. And finally... You can drag this down to make resize to make this little menu come up here. Um, this is really cool. So let's say I went to Amazon. You can see that the image will update to Amazon, and no matter what page I go on, it'll automatically update the look of it to the page I'm on. So basically it's just taking a screenshot and putting it there, but it's a cool visual um, interface that they added that can really help manage when you have a bunch of the same pages open. So that's basically what it is. Um, so you can check it out and go download it. I'll give you a link in the sidebar, and thanks for watching guys. Comment, rate, and subscribe.